Hello more families, welcome back. We are here with another quick and easy art lesson using just a few supplies that most of us should have around the house. Today we're gonna to be doing Lego printing or Lego stamping. This is a method of printmaking. So we're using objects to press in the shape that they have. Um, and what I'm gonna to use today is I'm gonna use Duplos and Legos, but you could use any kind of building blocks that you have. You can also use any kind of found materials that you have at your house. You could use things like, um, kitchen strainers, you could use um, forks, you could use a bunch of different things around your house that have different textures on them that won't get messed up if we put them in paint. Um, so the supplies you're going to need, um, you're going to need Legos or Duplos or any kind of building blocks. Um, they've got these at the dollar store. Um, paper, any kind of paper. Again, you could use uh, recycled cardboard if you can cut a large section of a cardboard box out or the inside of a cereal box. Um, you could also use the back of some of your old um, math papers or word searches or things that you're not going to use anymore. Um, and then there's a couple of different ways to um, make the impression. So I just have liquid tempera right here. You could also use a stamp pad. You could also use acrylic. Um, acrylic stains and some of the stamp pads do. So just be careful and make sure that you cover your work surface and you aren't wearing clothes that you're worried are going to get messy. So I'm going to take a break right here. I'm going to gather up the supplies. And I'm going to let you guys do the same thing and meet me back here. Okay, guys, we are back with our supplies. I've got my table covered. I've got my paint, my liquid tempera. I'll also show you what it looks like with um, stamps here in a little bit, but I'm going to use the liquid tempera. And I just used a recycled um, to-go tray, not tray, this is a lid, for a container of soup that I got. So I'm going to use that right here. I've got two pieces of paper because I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. So I'm going to move one to the side. And what I'm going to do is I am going to use the tops and the bottoms of my Legos to create pictures with my Legos. So what you can do is you can just scooch it around in your paint here. And you can have an idea before you get started, like maybe you want to do a rocket ship or maybe you want to do an airplane or maybe you want to do a robot. And then you're just going to press your Lego onto the paper. So this is using Duplos. These are my daughter Quinn's Duplo blocks. And I think I'm gonna make a house with these because these look like good windows. Now, like I said, you can use the bottom or you can use the top. So I'm gonna use the top of my stamp now. And this is a project that has the potential to get pretty messy. So like I said, just make sure that you cover up your tabletop or your work surface, or you could do this outside. This would be a fun thing to do outside if it's nice out, you might like that, little dots. And this is something that obviously you're not gonna be able to erase if you make mistakes, but it's kind of fun just to go with it. So I'm just gonna leave that to the side and I'm gonna get one of my regular Lego blocks. And I'm using washable tempera, so these Legos will be just fine. I know some of you guys, some of you Lego people are worried about my Legos, they're just fine. Got some fingerprints in that one, oops. And I'm just gonna go around and make prints all the way around with my Legos. And I could always change my mind if I felt it looked something more like maybe a face or a puppy or whatever you wanted to turn it into, you'd be able to do that. See what else I got here. Ooh, I like that piece maybe for the top of the house. Dip, dip, dip. Move it around in the paint. Press on the paper. Ooh, I like that. And ooh, how about this for my sunshine? Now I don't do corner suns, that's on the no-no board, but guess what? You guys aren't on you guys aren't in the classroom anymore. You don't have a no-no board at home usually. So I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna make my sun a circle. I'm gonna put it up at the top here. Or maybe it's the moon, maybe it's a night picture. I don't know. There we go, got another Duplo. Down here. I'm starting to run out of my paint. Maybe this is the path to the house. Okay, so here is an example of Lego printmaking or stamping with the tempera paint. 
And you know what? I'm going to use the side of my Lego. You can use the side of it to just make a horizon line. Now, in a landscape, which is what this is now, a horizon line is the line that separates the sky from the ground. So now I have my little Lego house here. And you know what? I'm going to keep using the side. I like the way that that looks. I'm going to go down my windows. And across. This is going to be a good base for a project. I'm going to go back and color this, I think, with crayons and markers. But it looks nice black and white, too. So it's really up to you how far you want to go with this project. I'm going to do a little tree on the side here. There's my tree trunk. My tree branches. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm done with my temper paint version of my Lego stamping house. I'll have an example of printed with a stamp pad in just a second, and then we'll go and color our pictures.